Hello, Fort Worthians, business owners, visitors, residents, all those that love our great city. I'm Kelly Porter. I'm Assistant Director for Transportation and Public Works here at the City of Fort Worth, and I'm over the Regional Transportation Innovation Division here today to talk to you about Moving a Million, our city's first ever comprehensive master transportation plan. We see this plan as being key to our city's uh, mobility future, specifically centered around people movement through pedestrians, bicycles, cars, transit, and freight, because do remember you want to get your deliveries to you. So let me just let you know kind of all the things going on here at the City of Fort Worth. Um, we're really on this whole 2050 horizon right now. We've got a, a comprehensive plan that's occurring now. We've also got a parks master plan that's occurring. And we've also got a regional plan that's occurring at the, um, the council government's level. And so moving to millions at a quite apropos time for the city, and it's going to help shape that transportation future for our city locally in the next 25 years. But we're going to be integrating all kinds of things into this effort, such as technology, land use, parks and green space. And we're really thinking about a whole host of different factors as we go forth with this long range vision for transportation in our city. Reimagine Fort Worth is the city's comprehensive plan. And our comprehensive plan here at the city is really a basis for coordinating things citywide, as well as thinking about city policy, city projects, city programs across all departments. Moving a million toward the transportation element of that. And I'll say a good land use plan, which is a lot of what comes out of our comprehensive plan, is a good transportation plan. We're going to be able to get into that. We've also got a safety action plan that's a major component of this planning work. And then we have our parks and recreation master plan, which is going to provide a vision for not only our city's recreational centers and community centers, but also our park space. And really this plan, moving a million, is going to tie into working with our parks department on creating a well-connected vision of trails along with these other efforts. So what will this plan do? Well, one thing it's going to take us into capital planning. Right now, we've got a natural transportation plan and a master thoroughfare plan that lay out a vision for build out of trails, streets, um, specific arterials in the city, but doesn't really tie into a capital plan, meaning this plan is going to help us tie back to financial realities and timelines so we can provide more predictability. Also, financial stewardship. Um, this plan is really going to get into a bit more detail about how we can not only build out our system, but also for it to maintain our system as well. So we're thinking about life cycle. We're also going to ensure that this plan helps us with project readiness. So we have needs identified already, transportation needs in the short, mid and long term. And then we can go forth with identifying the highest priority projects and get those ready for potential funding, construction and other types of activities. And then, of course, connect to communities. This is going to help us think about what that multimodal vision is for our city. And that's kind of a wonky term. Multimodal just means more than one way to get around. You have choices on how you get around. And how do we connect those different choices, whether you want to drive to a park and ride, take transit into town or, you know, bicycle to a um, bus stop and then put your bike on the bus and take your bus on to your next destination, having actual bike rack to load it up to when you get to your destination or to be able to uh, drive to a destination and then take a shuttle service uh, around that particular area. You want to ensure that you're able to get around our community as swiftly, efficiently, and conveniently as possible. So this, as I said before, gives us a 25-year planning horizon and essentially we plan on updating this plan every four years to line up with our regional and local financial cycle, specifically regionally with the long range plan that uh, the council of governments puts together, as well as the city's local bond plan. It's going to integrate our PED bike plan, which is our active transportation plan, our master thoroughfare plan, and then safety action. Vision Zero is a big part of this, so we want to ensure safety is our number one priority. And so that's going to be top of term as we think about what we're doing. And then we also want to start this back to actual financial reality so we can ensure that we can pay for whatever we're trying to build or implement as part of this and think about what does the revenue sources need to be like in order to be able to maintain our system better. So a fiscal responsible capital plan is really a big part of this as we go forth and start to move towards a million people. And I've kind of talked about this before, but it's about developing multimodal network where we tie it back to land uses. When we think about transit, ped bike, and walking, 
and biking and all those types of things. One important thing to focus on is the fact that we need to be able to connect these different modes and that for some of these different modes, you have to have the actual density and the right set of destinations in close proximity for you to be able to walk and bike to them. So where are we going with this? Well, we set out to have a draft vision that we've developed. And this is something that's draft until we get good public comment feedback and really until the plan's adopted. But I'll read it to you real quick. In 2050, the city of Fort Worth envisions a safe, reliable, resilient and world-class transportation system that provides more freedom for all to choose viable transportation options, enhances our economic dynamism, connects us to communities, the region and the world, improves our quality of life, is well-funded, maintained and prioritizes equity. So that's a lot I just said, but I want you to take some time to think about it. How can we maybe tighten this language up some, make it a little bit shorter? Is there something that we're missing in this? Um, think through that and let us know what you what you think about this. So we have six goals with our plan. Safety is first, and we also have a fix it first goal as well, because we're thinking about life cycle with the projects and the plan and what comes out to be and how we keep our system maintained. Also human comfort, and I can talk about that a little bit more detail in a minute, as well as economic competitive technology and equity. So let's get in the weeds on these things. So goal one is safety first. It's kind of obvious. We want to implement safety measures that reduce crashes, eliminate traffic fatalities, injuries across all transportation modes and trips. Public health, safety, big priority. Really no point in having a system together if it's not going to be safe and move people to where they want to be and move them there safely, people and goods. So safety is first. And this is going to tie in strongly with the Vision Zero safety action plan that we'll be completing city's first ever and that'll be completed as part of this planning effort. So safety through all policies and projects is really gonna be a big theme of this planning effort. Goal number two is fix it first. So we are thinking about life cycle. Um, it's not just, can we construct a bunch of roads, but can we actually figure out a way to maintain them along with our other assets in the system, our street lights, our striping, our, our EV charges, we start investing in those more or whatnot. We just wanna ensure that we're thinking about cost effectiveness of transportation assets throughout their life cycle. And so that may be um, how we capitalize things at first. Do we pay a little bit more money for something that's going to last us a whole lot longer? How do we maintain them? Where are we sourcing materials from? So it's going to be pretty broad and thoughtful. Go through is human comfort. How does the system make you feel? It's really where we're going with it. We want to create a network that's convenient, connected and considerate for everyone in our environment. So environment is something you didn't see in that vision statement, but it is here because when we think about environment, it really is about our human comfort and the sustainability of being able to move forward with cost effective transportation options that have positive impacts on our community and our general environment for the comfort of humans and our families and whatever it may be. Goal number four is economic competitiveness. We want to be able to support business and improve regional and global connectivity, facilitate trade investment, promote labor mobility, and enhance the overall prosperity of Fort Worth. So getting goods to market is really important. Being able to get your deliveries to you is really important, as well as ensuring that you have access to opportunity and to the jobs that uh, you want to be able to have. Um, so this is really about how do we support upper mobility in our community through the transportation system. And connectivity is so important with that. Goal five is technology. We definitely want to be able to embrace flexible and resilient technology to adapt to our evolving transportation needs and challenges. So we're going to be looking at a whole host of technology and something that, uh, you know, we'll be open minded about are thinking about the role of uh, electric charging and different energy types, as well as using artificial intelligence in some ways. Also thinking through other um, items such as like pavement technologies, all types of things that we're going to look to. Uh, one thing you'll hear our team say is that we also want to make sure that we've got the basics right. You know, if you watch Fresh Prince back in the day, Aunt Viv said we're trying to keep up with the Joneses, not the Jetsons. I think you could say the same thing about us here at the city. We want to be practic practical, but we also want to be visionary at the same, at the same time and make sure things are going to be cost effective. And it's not just a gimmick, but we're getting into things and then the technologies are actually going to be sustainable. And then goal six is equity. We want to ensure our system is accessible and affordable 
and provides transportation options for all ages and abilities. So we want to make sure that we're thinking about everyone as we build out our system. That's not only with ADA compliance, that's also thinking about as uh, folks age and their needs change and how we sign our roads, how we put pavement markings down. Um, it's also the availability to access things. We want to think about folks that, you know, have kids that maybe able to get to them to, to pick them up from school in the middle of the day. Those are things we want to think about. So equity is really broad in how we want to think about that. And so the timeline is, well, good thing you started with us now because spring, summer 2024, we're starting our first round of public outreach and really our existing conditions, needs assessment. We plan on working throughout the summer on looking at maybe some gaps and some potential solutions uh, based on those needs. And then we'll have a draft plan sometime, oh, come time frame of summer of next year. And then we plan on adopting our plan in early 2026 or maybe late 2025. So we do need your input. I do ask that you use this QR code to go to our website as well as our survey. Let us know what you think about the direction we're going in as a city, what things are needed as you think about our city's transportation future, both in the short and long range. Remember, we're, we're the fastest growing city in the country. So the way you move around a million people, it's going to be very different than the way you move around 1.2 million people in a region of expected to be over 11 million people. And so that's a lot of folks. And so that's the way we're thinking about the future. Please go to our website, moveinamillion.org, and fill out the survey. Come to the public meetings. Reach out to our team. If you have any other needs, you can get to us through email, which is at transportation at fortworthtexas.gov. And we're so happy that you took the time to take a look at this. And we look forward to working with you while we try to move a million.